Why don't we just go ahead and get started? It's Joshua Vergara. What's going on, everybody? Here's what worked and what didn't with this here on my wrist, the Huawei Watch 3. I gotta say, this might be one of the best looking smartwatches I've seen in recent memory. The steel body houses a large rotating crown and then has a programmable shortcut button underneath it. Originally, the watch came with a leather strap, which I actually have right here, uh, but my unit actually also came with a red silicone band, which you can put on for uh, more active applications like being in the gym and whatnot. And while the watch did work in the gym once I had this band on there, I will admit, maybe it didn't exactly fit into that scenario with its premium and shiny materials. Not to mention, whenever sweat would actually mix with the silicone band, it would start to slide on my arm, uh, potentially out of the area where you're supposed to have it nice and secure to do all of the tracking. Of course, on the back of the watch, you can see all of the things that would make this a fitness forward wearable. Heart rate monitoring, there's a blood oxygen sensor, and there's even a thermometer here to monitor your skin temperature. And of course, that backing connects to a very specific magnetic charger, which I have had to use maybe once every couple of days, but we'll get into the battery life more a bit later. In my time with the Huawei Watch 3, this smartwatch has been one of the ones that I have reached for more than most. Uh, it does work for a lot of different scenarios, a lot of different outfits and wardrobes. Just be careful if you do want to use this particular smartwatch mainly as your fitness tracker. It may not fit in every single one of those active applications. But of course, this wearable has a ton to offer. I said it was serviceable earlier because the style does come with plenty of features. The rotating crown is accompanied by a good haptics engine that actually ticks away while you're scrolling through all the different menus. Honestly, a crown like this is something we should be seeing in pretty much any smartwatch as much as possible. Like I always say in wearable videos, any extra form of input is always going to be appreciated. Something other than just the taps and swipes that you might be doing on the screen, potentially covering up everything you should be seeing on that screen. And it's a gorgeous screen on this Huawei Watch 3. You have to give it to the 1.43 inch AMOLED display. It's one of the nicest screens I've seen on a smartwatch. There's a little bit of bezel around the viewing area, but there's still enough of the screen that it doesn't feel like you're missing out on a whole lot. And slight curves make it blend into the casing like a proper timepiece. Vivid colors do come through pretty brightly, so it's pretty easy to see in daylight situations. And part of the reason why this display is so noticeably smooth is because it's also a 60 hertz panel, allowing for really fast and fluid animations throughout the Harmony OS operating system. So even though Harmony OS may not be the most robust smartwatch interface, more on that in a second, it's still worth mentioning that I haven't had any issues getting in and out of applications or having anything running in the background like timers and of course having things like alarms at the ready. But of course, plenty of the applications you might be using on the Huawei Watch 3 are fitness oriented. By default, this bottom button right here will get you to a bunch of different workouts. Now, many of those workouts, pretty much all of them are like distance based, things like um, cycling and running and walking and all of that. But I did do a couple of lifting sessions uh, using the other workout. One quirky thing about tracking workouts with the Huawei Watch 3 is that it actually has a voice coach that is blaring out of the loudspeaker telling you when certain milestones in your workout happen, like minute counts and stuff like that. Uh, it might be something you want to mute pretty much immediately so you don't bother people around you. Yet another reason why, even though this is a fitness-oriented, fitness-forward smartwatch, uh, it has a couple of quirks that might make it just not fit in perfectly in some of those scenarios. Of course, aside from these specific workouts, uh, step tracking is always going, as is heart rate monitoring, at least for me. I did turn off most of the other continuous sensors, mainly to help with the battery life. But if you are so inclined, you can still have SpO2 tracking, stress management, as there is also a breathing application in here to allow you to have that moment of mindfulness, and then skin temperature monitoring. All of these things can be turned on so that you have a more robust look at your everyday health. But one of my favorite things about wearables these days is that they are focusing on sleep tracking, which in this watch triggers automatically when you rest. You can also set an alarm straight from the quick settings menu, which is nice, uh, as it uses both the loudspeaker and the good haptics engine to be able to wake you up. Obviously, if you turn off the speakers, you have yourself a silent alarm. I was curious about comparing the Huawei Health app's sleep stats with my Aura Ring app, and I found that the Huawei tracking was just a bit more generous than Aura's algorithms, but it wasn't anything too out of the ordinary to make me think that the watch was really inaccurate. And much like the Aura app, the Huawei Health app also gives advice as to what you can do to get better sleep. 
Sleep tracking is always a little bit of a question mark when it comes to smart wearables like this because of the battery life. Generally, you might end up charging the smartwatch overnight alongside your smartphone uh, because you did not charge it up early enough for you to wear it overnight. But the thing is, with the Huawei Watch 3, I was able to actually get a few days worth of battery life even with the always-on display turned on. That's because I did turn off some of the other sensors throughout the day, the continuous monitoring, and that was one way that I was able to sort of find a middle ground when it comes to this watch's battery life. If you turn off this always on display, you can get many more days worth of battery life, but I actually really like the way that it looks, so I wanted to keep it on. Now back to the Huawei Health app, you do have to install it alongside HMS, which is Huawei's version of core background services. Uh, the app does allow for customization of things like watch faces and to change up your notifications. But the problem is that what you see is basically what you get because Harmony OS is still rather young. The Huawei Watch 3 is still basically all fitness all the time, providing only some of the extra functions that you might want, like music control and obviously timers for me for steeping my tea. Notifications come in as short previews, but then without any way to reply to them or to action upon them effectively. Even then, sometimes notifications didn't come in right away, or they came in in batches, uh, giving me multiples of the same notification. For the price that you're paying for the premium materials and the design language here, it's a really great looking smartwatch, but the software isn't quite meeting it at that level. Uh, there are plenty of other smartwatches that, while they're not as well designed as this, can do a lot of the same stuff and come in at a fraction of the price. You can expand the experience by installing more apps from the app gallery, but from what my peers have said, there aren't many offerings in there yet still. The expandability of Harmony OS is simply not on the level of Watch OS or even Wear yet. Besides, it's not like I can get into the app gallery even if I tried. Access to it is still blocked in my region, which makes this a harder sell for anyone that is a fan of the design, but lives somewhere that Huawei is unable to properly support. Of course, there are reports that there are hundreds of thousands of applications that are popping up in the Harmony OS ecosystem, so people are adopting it, developers are adopting it. The thing is, normally that means the smartphones and maybe the tablets of Harmony OS are getting that support, and wearables come later. Unfortunately for the Huawei Watch 3, we are not quite yet in the latter part of that process yet. And really, that's just the main issue that I have with the Huawei Watch 3 currently. It's an exercise in luxurious potential. Say what you will about the region locks and the bands in certain areas, clearly Huawei is putting in the work to create a new identity and a new ecosystem for themselves. It's just ironic that it's called Harmony OS when clearly some of that harmony is being disturbed. We are getting more of a glimpse into what Harmony OS will be like on a larger scale. Right now with the Huawei Watch 3, with a wearable, but then of course we have a couple of tablets uh, that I'm still working to get to. The thing is, we still have those products and then anything that is on Huawei's future horizons, but all of these products are still going to be really interesting different tech for some of the world and still unrequited potential for everybody else. Main takeaway though is that with everything that has changed since the last time I tried a Huawei device here on the channel, it's clear that the company is doing a great job of staying the course on a few key areas. Premium quality is a given, but then proper software support will need to eventually meet that standard. Hopefully one day it will be able to, and at that point, maybe Harmony can finally be achieved. For more on wearables like the Huawei Watch 3, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Drop some likes on this video if you liked what you watched, and let me know what you think of the Huawei Watch 3 in the comments down below. With all of that said, we're going to go ahead and call it on this one. Thank you so much for watching. Please take care of yourselves and each other, and enjoy your tea, everybody.